just give us your initial impressions of uh, being with the group you know you obviously you know we all know you've just come from Rochdale this summer but what are your first impressions of you know being with Norwich City and the lads and David Wright and the coaches it's brilliant I'm loving every minute of it at the minute uh, it's, a, it's a lot different to Rochdale the environment and things like that but yeah really really impressed really enjoying my time at the minute in terms of moving down obviously you know it's a big move for you you know you're based up in the northwest uh, have you found that well, i suppose you've only not really had much time to settle in have you in norwich and norfolk uh, no not really but um it's been made a lot easier because my mum's come down with me so that's nice she's just she um she's helped me settle in and yeah like i say we're really enjoying it at the minute it's been it was difficult but I'm used to it, I'm getting used to it. I mean, obviously it was a big decision for you in your yeah, career because you're still a very young man. I mean, just take you back to, you know, when were you sort of first aware maybe there was a bit of interest from Norwich and, and how that played out, you know, the decision to, to leave Rochdale and come to Norwich? Um, my agent gave me a call about, I don't know, about a month before it actually uh, went through so not that not that long really but as soon as, as soon as he told me Norwich are interested then that was that was me I think because I look at the first team players look at some of the boys that have come through and I just that's like my motivation that was what brought me here really so yeah I was buzzing when he when he told me yeah when you talk about the lads who've come through and you, you must from afar have seen you know the Max Aarons and Jamal Lewis Ben Godfrey another lad who sort of came from York um, as a young player, is that important that you see that you go into a club where there's like a pathway? As long as you impress and do the work you need to do, that you, there is a chance maybe at first. Team definitely, level. yeah, definitely. That's everything really. At the end of the day, it's it's nice being here in, in the under 23s, but essentially you wanna you wanna push yourself to be the best you can, and you need to be doing that in the first team environment. And then boys, there, what you've just mentioned was my um, my motivation to come because they've done it. So that's like. I can do it as well, well hopefully if I continue to work hard. You know you say there wasn't really any hesitation when you knew Norwich were in for you, I mean um, as soon as you, you, you join Norwich people are then looking at your backstory and they're seeing the things about like Man City were interested in taking you into their academy and I think you went and had a little look with Manchester United didn't you as well, I mean was there interest or has there been interest in the last two three years? Uh, I, I don't know really, I just leave it down to uh, my management team and then just I just keep, I just do the work on the pitch, I don't really get too involved in that stuff yeah as you say just focus on the football basically yeah and that's gone really well for you I mean again looking at your career to be playing at such a young age at league one level was it Rochdale yeah uh, how did you find that initially was that a really tough step up from like youth team development football yeah so different it's just uh, so much more demanding from the the previous manager in Keith Hill who I owe everything to because he gave me my my debut and I'm forever grateful for that and but he demanded a lot of me and everyone else and it's just the physicality really of the step up from the youth team and especially in league one it's so physical so but i adapted quick the players welcomed me so well and i just fell at home straight away when i was 15 16 so yeah and then i really kicked on from there really. talking about the players made you feel welcome i don't know if you're aware but one of your former teammates ian henderson big big norwich connection um, did, he, did you speak to him at all yeah, about the yeah. Did you? Yeah. What yeah. advice did he give you? He was just, uh, he was buzzing for me first, first and foremost, but he was the same as me. He's been here, he's told me everything about the club, how great the people are, how great the people are. Uh, Aaron Wilbraham as well was, uh, I also had a lot of advice off him. He was at Norwich previously as well, so. For the, to have them two to go to for advice it's just an honour really because they've done so much in the game and they're such good friends to me and just advisors so but like you say Hendo yeah everybody that I've spoken to has mentioned Hendo and they hear him from Rochdale so that's how much people think of him and I'm just really grateful to have him yeah to be fair I've, I've seen an interview with him um, since where he, he was asked about you I don't know whether it was maybe you just made your breakthrough I oh, know you played Tottenham you didn't you in the, in the FA Cup a year or two ago and he was saying like this kid could be a really top top player it feels like looking at again from afar that you probably had that as, as you've come through that people are saying this this guy could be something special is that difficult as a young player you have to almost detach yourself from that and not get too caught up in the hype of that maybe he's around you yeah definitely I just I did try and keep there was a lot of hype and whatever you want to call it but 
I just tried to, like I said previously, I just do the work on the pitch, don't really let any of that. It's nice, of course, to have people talk, talk about you in that sense, but if I'm not doing it on the pitch, then it won't continue. So I just keep my head down and just keep working hard. Yeah, best, best way to be. Yeah, just bringing it back to Norwich. Obviously, the Norwich fans will be looking forward to maybe seeing you play initially in the development side. For anybody who isn't really aware of you, Norwich end. What type of player are you? You know, what sort of what's, what's your strong points? What are the areas of your game maybe you feel you need to work on a little bit? I like to I like to get on the ball. I like to make things happen. I like to I just like creating. Don't mind the defensive side of it as well, to be honest. But um, yeah. I'm just always on the ball, trying to make things happen, quick passing, stuff like that. Um, yeah, to improve, I'd say probably try and get some more goals. That's why I'm here as well, to just work on that area of my game, work on everything in which I can improve. Uh, and I'll be doing that at Norwich with the facilities and the managers and everything else here. So. Yeah. Is there any any one player or players you, you know you've looked at as you, you've, you've come through the ranks just in general football in general that maybe you, you model yourself on a little bit or you look up to him uh, I'd say probably I look up to Deli Alley a bit because he was similar to me he was um, he started off at, in the lower leagues and now he's a superstar so uh, and I've played against I got his shirt actually so from that Tottenham game yeah, yeah did you? so that was um, unbelievable as well but yeah. Yeah, I guess I look up to him and his what, what he's done in the game, and hope that I can get to his level. Yeah, just just on a final point, what's your immediate sort of short shorter term goals? You know, maybe the next sort of six months or so and beyond. Uh, just keep working hard. Literally, just keep working hard and see where it gets me. Try and get into the first team environment. Um, but first and foremost, just do what I need to do in the 23s. Just try and impress. Just play my game and then see how far it gets me.